Hi, my name is Mike. I'm making this video to uh, document the issue I'm having with uh, getting my Picasso 2 graphics card working with my Indivision ECS in my Amiga 2000. Um, I appreciate everyone's help and suggestions so far. I just wanted to make this video to uh, try to make the uh, issue a little more clear. Um, in any case, uh, it's a Picasso 2 version 1.6, 2 megabytes of memory. Uh, I've also tried it with, uh, I've got a spare, uh, it's a 1.4 revision board. Uh, no difference between the two. Um, I'm running P96, uh, I believe it's 2.1C, uh, the, latest, the latest version available online. Um, my Indivision ECS is flashed with the latest 1.10 firmware. So as far as I know, everything is uh, latest versions. Um, I opened up a couple windows here on my screen. Um, this screen on the left is connected to the output from the Picasso 2. And here on the right, uh, it's off now, so it's not displaying an image. That screen is connected to the output from the uh, Indivision ECS. Um, my screen mode is uh, 800 by 616 bits, P96. Uh, Picasso 2 mode. Um, I'm just going to take some video of my settings here. Um, I'm not sure. I got a pretty good idea what most of these do. I mean, you know, you hold the mouse pointer over it, and it'll, uh, you know, you know, most of them will, you know, will pop up and tell you something about them. Um, or maybe actually that was the other. Oh, duh. Just like the. So yeah, you know they, they all tell you what they do. Um, I've I've tried messing with these settings a lot. Um, haven't had any. Haven't met with any success. So like I said, I just want to maybe somebody could compare this to their settings on their system and see if something should be checked that isn't, or something is checked that shouldn't be. ECS tool. This is basically all just default values for everything. Um, I've tried changing the mode. Uh, I've tried changing H sync, V sync. Um, not a lot of documentation with this tool, but I've tried all of the different settings. Uh, haven't had any luck yet. Um, so let's move on to the Indivision. We'll go ahead and close out of the Picasso variable setter. Close out of the Indivision tool. You can see the Indivision fires up for a second when you exit out of its tool. Um, but I'm going to switch to a Indivision screen mode, and it doesn't matter which one. We'll just use the same thing, Super Plus, 800 by 600. And we'll go ahead and use that. And you can see the... Picasso 2 screen cuts off and the Indivision output screen turns on, which is, you know, it's pretty cool. Dual monitor, Amiga, yada, yada, yada. Um, obviously, I would prefer a uh, single monitor solution using the built-in switcher of the P2. So here you can see, actually, let's, we're on it. We're on an Indivision screen right now. Um, let's roll over here. top cable is the output from the uh, Picasso 2 going to the P2 monitor. Um, over here is where I have my Indivision ECS output connected and this is going to this monitor. Well, pretty straightforward connections here. The only other thing I've got is this short one foot cable. And this was a cable that was recommended by somebody on uh, Amy Bay. Uh, she said that she had had good luck with this cable and I needed a shorter cable anyway um, but it didn't matter I tried about a half dozen different cables before I got this one so in any case uh, logically the way I understand that this should work is I should be able to hook the Indivision output into the input of the P2 and have it display on that monitor and then use the built-in switch of the P2 
uh, to display its screens or the Indivision screens. So, what I would think would happen if I unplug the Indivision output here from that monitor and plug this cord in. Sorry, it's hard doing this with one hand. But that screen should have already fired on. It's not giving me anything. I don't know why that power light is blinking green. I don't understand what that means. Um, pretty good with these monitors and usually Log input in power saving mode. Okay, there we go. So it's not getting any signal at all. <clears throat> so let's do one more thing. We're gonna unhook this pass through cable. This is the thing, this is the part that really I don't understand. We're gonna hook the output back up from the Indivision. <clears throat> Prefs. Oh, it's so much slower than the graphics card. Screen mode. And it didn't matter. I've tried Super Plus. I've tried, uh, you know, NTSC, low res. I've tried, you know, a lot of different resolutions. Uh, none of them would pass through. So, let's go back to the P2, 800 by 600, which is what I usually use. We'll use that. That screen clicks off. My P2 clicks on. So, screen displaying. The output that's being displayed now is from the Picasso 2 graphics card. This is the part that really I don't understand. So, there's no output being generated from the Indivision ECS or there shouldn't be. Um, so now that I look at it, the monitor is still on. It's at 640 by 480, 61 hertz. So, so I'm just noticing that for the first time now. So apparently the, even when it's off, the Indivision is sending some kind of signal I've solved my own problem here. How the heck do you make the Indivision turn off? So it's... This monitor thinks it's still receiving a signal, if I understand that. It's analog input, resolu 640... The resolution's not right, but this thing doesn't understand Amiga terminology anyway. So the Indivision is still sending an output. Well, no. Analog input. Hmm. Interesting. In any case, well, here's what I was going to show you, and I think I might have just figured out why that is. Um... So, I was thinking that, you know, the P2 is not generating, or the Indivision is not generating any output. So, I can pull the cord from that, go into this monitor, and then take my pass-through connector. And watch this as soon as I plug in that pass-through connector. We're doing this with one hand. That screen immediately goes, goes off. Pass-through connector plug in. Screen is off. Pass through connector removed. Screen comes back on.
Uh, let's start doing this with one hand. But plug it in, screen immediately goes off. I think if I understand what's happening now, it's passing through the blank output from the Indivision because the Indivision isn't actually turning off. All right, I gotta wrap my brain around this one for a little while. Let's just stop this video so I'll uh, stop wasting y'all's time. Uh, feedback appreciated. Thank you.